After installation of setup file, audacity icon will appear on your desktop. This is the audacity icon. Double click it to open the application. You will see this window. This is the menu bar. Here you will see options like file, edit, view, transport, effect, etc. Below that you will see various toolbars which will help you at the time of recording or editing an audio. This is transport toolbar. Here you will see various buttons like pause, play, stop, etc. We make use of these buttons at the time of recording. This is pause button. It pauses the recording or playing. Next to it is play button. It plays recording. Remember that wherever is your cursor, it will start playing recording from that point. You can also hit space bar to play the recording. This is stop button. It stops recording or playing. This is skip to start button. It will take cursor at the beginning of the audio. Next to it is skip to end button and it will take the cursor at the end of the audio. This is record button. It will start recording an audio as soon as you click it. This is tools toolbar. Let's see its functions. First, I am inserting an audio. To insert the audio, go to file menu and select open option. You can also press shortcut key Ctrl plus O to open an audio file. Go to the destination and select the file. When an audio file opens in audacity, it looks like this. The blue portion is wave bar. If you want to select particular track, then choose selection tool. This is selection tool. Now it is already been selected. So go to your file, click and drag to select portion of the audio. This is envelope tool. We will see it later how it works. This is draw tool. To use this tool you have to zoom in to the limit where you can see the single unit of the audio and then make changes in it. Now I am selecting the portion and zooming it. This tool lets you adjust the volume level of individual audio unit. Now zoom out. This is zoom tool. It will zoom in the audio track. You can also press control key and scroll to zoom in or out. Next to it you will see time shift tool. With the help of this tool, you can shift the audio track. This is useful when you are working on two or more audio files. Just click on the button and drag the track. This is multi-tool mode. It works as selection tool, zoom tool, draw tool, envelope tool. See here, I switched on the mode. Now you can see that it is functioning as selection tool. If you move your cursor above the track, it will change it into envelope tool. If you go at the beginning of the audio, it works as time shift tool. On the right side of the tools toolbar, you will see meter toolbar. As you go on recording an audio or play an audio, it displays the volume level. This is output level meter and it displays green color. This is input level meter. It displays red color. 
This is mixer toolbar. Here you can set or control playback and recording volume. With the help of output volume slider, you can set playback volume. And by using input volume slider, you can set recording volume. This is edit toolbar. Here you will get options like cut, copy, paste, trim, etc. We will see its functions later. This is transcription toolbar. It lets you play audio in faster or slower than the normal pace. At the bottom of the stage you will see selection toolbar. Here you will see options like project rate, selection and audio position. It lets you to place cursor precisely at the selection point without dragging the cursor from the wave bar. Your audio file will be displayed in this grey area. This is device toolbar. We use this toolbar rarely unless we want to do thorough recording or editing work in Audacity. That's all folks. Thanks for watching the video.